Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. TSMC masters the most advanced chip manufacturing technology in mankind, has the largest number of EUV lithography machines, and the best customer resources. These have established TSMC's position as the world's largest chip foundry. However, TSMC did not stop there and began the process of building factories globally. TSMC has set up chip factory projects in the United States, Japan, and Germany. The U.S. factory has been suspended, but the Japanese factory has made significant progress. The United States has treacherous intentions towards TSMC. Could it be that Andy Lau has some tricks up his sleeve? TSMC's Global Factory Layout The United States is revitalizing chip localization and wants to place more chip orders in the United States instead of Asia. Unfortunately, the U.S. chip giants are not doing their best. Except for Intel, which can maintain a certain lead, the other U.S. chip manufacturers are either not technologically advanced enough or are not competitive in chip manufacturing. This has resulted in U.S. chip companies such as NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Apple, and AMD being placed orders for production by companies such as TSMC and Samsung. The United States wanted to change all this, so it enacted a $52 billion chip subsidy bill to attract TSMC to build factories in the United States. Things went smoothly in the early days, and TSMC was invited to build a factory in the United States. It has set an investment target of $40 billion US dollars to build two high-end chip factories, 4 nanometers and 3 nanometers. According to the original plan, the first factory will be put into production in 2024, and the second one in 2026. Not only the United States, but Japan also invited TSMC to participate in building factories and provided huge subsidies. Japan has the world's leading chip manufacturing industry chain, a monopoly on photoresist materials, and policy support provided by Japan. TSMC has no reason to refuse. Therefore, TSMC established its first chip factory in Kumamoto Prefecture, Japan, mainly producing 2228s nanometer chips. If a second chip factory is established in the future, the process may be upgraded to 1216s nanometer. In addition to the United States and Japan, there are also TSMC factory projects in Germany. They are still in the early stages, and it is not yet known when they will be put into production. Progress at TSMC's U.S. and Japanese factories The United States and Japan have both extended an olive branch to TSMC, but the United States and Japan have completely different attitudes towards TSMC. If TSMC is given another chance to choose, it will never build a factory in the United States. This will be a big pitfall. In the early days of building factories in the United States, the United States treated TSMC very highly, asking for land and giving resources to resources. But this is just an illusion created by the United States. The true face of the United States is that it wants to obtain TSMC's industrial chain resources, including talents, technology, core data, etc. This is fully reflected in the U.S. chip subsidy application rules. If TSMC wants to receive subsidies, it will need to submit a series of trade secrets to the United States, share excess profits with the United States, and restrict the expansion of semiconductor production in mainland China within 10 years. TSMC cannot agree to such a request and has suspended its application for subsidies. The matter is not over yet. 
TSMC's U.S. factory is experiencing a labor shortage. Local American employees lack sufficient technical talents. TSMC planned to send engineers from its Taiwan headquarters to solve the labor problem, but was rejected by the U.S. labor union. They were worried that their jobs would be taken away. In this way, the labor problem cannot be solved, and TSMC has no choice but to suspend the mass production plan of the U.S. factory and postpone the mass production from 2024 to 2025. In contrast, TSMC's progress at its Japanese factory has made a significant breakthrough. According to the Economic Daily, TSMC's Kumamoto factory in Japan already has 1,000 employees through expatriation and recruitment and plans to enter mass production in 2024. TSMC is advancing factory operations in Japan as scheduled. Originally, the United States could also put 4 nanometers into production next year, but now it lags behind Japan. Did Liu Dang save a hand? The United States is TSMC's largest overseas investment location and its largest market source. Almost all of its important customers are from the United States. It stands to reason that TSMC should focus its deployment in the United States and make every effort to promote the operation of American factories. However, judging from the current situation, TSMC is somewhat careless about the operation of U.S. factories or is disappointed. The Japanese factory was established later than the United States, but it was able to enter mass production earlier than the United States. Is it really because of labor issues that TSMC delayed the operation of the American factory? The answer may only be known to TSMC itself, but what is certain is that Liu Dang kept a secret and TSMC did not completely rely on the U.S. market. Even if the United States is the largest market source, TSMC can still develop and grow in countries such as Japan and Germany. The United States wants to ask for TSMC's core secrets, wants TSMC's talents and industrial chain resources, and wants to hollow out TSMC and turn it into U.S. semiconductor. I'm afraid it won't be that easy. TSMC Chairman Liu Dang may have seen the true face of the United States, so he did not treat the United States wholeheartedly. It's just that it's not easy for TSMC to completely get rid of its dependence on the United States. In the operation of the Nanjing factory in mainland China, TSMC has to look at the face of the United States and apply for an exemption license. It depends on how TSMC controls its own destiny.